Hello guys, and today I'm going to be showing you um, what a computer screen looks like. Zoomed in all the way so you get to see like all these colors and stuff. And I'm recording with a new camera. It's a... Uh, I don't know what it is. Um, it's a... I don't have no idea what this is. I think it's in Canon or something. Um, or an icon or something. I think it's an icon. So, let's get with it. So, by the way, I'm going to pop up a white screen. Just gonna go to the Google Play Store, and I'm just gonna zoom in to a white screen. And this camera zooms in a lot, so let's start zooming in. Well, okay, we have zoomed in, and we have so I'm exploring this website called Brain Pop here, and I just want to look at it right now. So here you can go to there's movies up at the top right there. There's a quiz you can take, scores, and more, and so, yeah. So on this app, you would hit search to search. Right there. So you can click search, and you can search anything you want here. So right here, I typed it in, and I'm going to look at logic gates. And you are greeted with this page here. So this page, subscription required. I don't even want to do a subscription. You can, I have no idea what this is, but I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take you through this here, guys. It's better to sit on my bed. It's more comfortable and the camera won't shake as much. Okay, so. So you are greeted with main menu, related movies, all movies, or you can search. So I already searched something which pops up on the screen right here. So what I'm going to do here is we are looking at some logic gates and to go so I don't think I can really view the short video because it doesn't it doesn't seem to be loading right. I'm going to try to get it to load with you guys. So oh Um, please? What if I click any of these options on the bottom? It says it's a movie. Right here I'm on the quiz and I'm just going to take you through the questions. I'm, I'm going to read it real quick. It says, having composed more than 6,000 works Wolfgang and Miss Mozart has been described the prolific composer of which falling symptom prolific? I would say it is D. So, if you want to choose it, the, the, your options are um, groundhog, groundbreaking, productive, and efficient. I would not say that. Or, the answer I'm going to go with is creative, because I would think he's pretty creative. So, Click D. Okay, so I guess I got that wrong. Sorry about that, guys. Productive. Let's try productive. It's correct. Yep. There. I'm going to try to click, um, uh, what to do a concerto, what does a symphony and a concert have in common? Well, Oh, I turned on that night mode. Sorry, I don't need that. What do they have in common? Orchestra. Yes, got it correct, guys. Um, master. At this. Okay. The theme of classical symphony could be best described as its lyrics, music, okay, tempo. Or tune. I'm just gonna read that again. The theme of a classical symphony could be best described in its lyrics, music, key, tempo, or tune. Say tune. I'm sorry, guys. We cut off a little bit there. Um, I'm just gonna see. I'm gonna try a piano teacher. Concert drummer, voice coach, voice coach. What? The answer has to be A then. An accountant. 
In which of the following musical forms is a singing absolutely essential? Symphony, piano concert, or opera, or string court? Dang it. Opera. Correct. Okay. In which modern country did Mozart eventually settle down? Did he settle down? Why won't this camera even focus? Um, England, France, Australia, or Italy? Um, okay guys, I have entered my name, Matthew, right here. I can't believe I got a, um, 5 out of 10 score, that's a 50% score if you're wondering, guys. The camera never focuses, I don't even know how to focus it. Um, So, yeah, so the button I'm going to press now is, I think, um, 